from Wami and welcome in our next episode. Today we are going to have a little bit different episode and much more practical one. As I mentioned in the previous video, Git is a very important tool each programmer should know. And this is why I would like to show you how to use it. What we are going to do? We are going to create our Git repository with our new project and also I would like to show you some GUIs for Git and show you some basic commands which you can use in the terminal. Let's start! Ok, I'm logged into my new GitHub account. I'm going to create a new project which I'll call test project. I won't change anything here besides this initialize repository with a readme because we don't need it. And also if you would like you can change anything like description or you can set a new license or you can change privacy or git ignore, it's up to you. But we don't need it for our testing purpose. And here it is. Our new repository with readme file. The content of readme is just like you can see, it's a name of the repo. Now we have to clone our repository to start working with it. Let's use this clone or download green button and let's copy the link. In this tutorial I'm going to use Mac terminal. It's open on the project folder where I want to place my project. Now I will clone the project with git clone command. Ok, it's done. Now we can check the folders inside project folder using ls command. And we can see test project folder is here. Let's go inside the folder and we can see here that git is there with master branch. Let's go back to github and create a new branch. Ok, let's create new branch in this pop-up form. Let's call it initial file and click create branch. We can see now we have our new branch there. Now let's go back to our terminal and switch our branches. git fetch and git checkout plus branch name. This is how we check out to a new branch. And ready. Now we are at initial file branch. Now let's open code editor with our project and we can see our readme file now. And here we can see only the name of the repo. You can add anything. And let's do some changes. I'll create a new HTML file. Let's call it index.html. And let's create some simple HTML code. Ok, we have new file, let's now commit it. First we need to stage our changes using git add, then git commit and we need to give a name to our commit here. And finally git push. Ok, our commit is ready. Let's now create pull request which will merge our code with main branch master. Let's open a pull request. Now we can add a comment or description here and create. Here we can see that all is fine, we don't have any conflicts. We can check here all the changes that was done, we can check the history of the files and 
Let's merge now. And we can see it's now in the main branch. We still have two branches, but the merged one, you can see this purple tag here, we can delete if we don't need it anymore. Also, if we are working with someone else, it's good to use git pull command to download changes made on the branch by somebody else to have updated code. You can see it here. And our code is up to date. Great. Now, as I promised, let me show you a few Git GUIs. First one is a GitHub desktop from GitHub. It's free. You can see it looks very nice. It's user friendly. You can see changes done. You can try it. It's totally free. Next one is Tower. It's a paid software. I had a chance to use it once. I think it's very good. So maybe if, if you would like, you can take any trial period here and maybe you will like it. Next tool is called Source Tree. Currently I use it. I can recommend it. I think it's awesome. It's totally free. You don't have to pay anything and it's very, very simple to use. And the last one is Git Kraken. It's also totally free. You can see it has a very nice interface. So maybe it's, it's also one worth to try. I'll put all the links for you in the description. Great. I hope you like this tutorial. Let us know if you would like to get more episodes like this. And now create your own repository. Remember to subscribe our channel, give us a thumb up and leave a comment. I hope to see you next week.